This is the journey to One Africa. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mika, and welcome back to Snowa. It has been a while, guys, and I would like to remind you guys to subscribe, to like to this channel, to share some of the videos we share if you like them. But most importantly, stand with us to support. You can use uh, Patreon, you can use um, PayPal, you can use uh, super chat, super chat, super sticker, super thanks. You can use membership. All of these are different ways for you guys to stand up with us and to support us. We just came from a trip from Uganda for a mission, and we thank God for everything that has happened there because our message is keep uh, on spreading across the continent. If you'd like to see some of the short content from Uganda, please head over on TikTok, Mika Tavala, see some of the content that we shared, and clearly we're reaching to a lot of people out there. So shout out to Uganda, shout out to Entebbe, shout out to Kampala. We love you guys and hope to come back very soon. Today, the news of today, they're not really good, guys. They're like three, to be honest, all this time I've been checking up the news and um, the three different news that today they're trending from where I'm taking my, my, my news source. Uh, all of these are not positive news and I'm going to compile them together because I don't want to share one after another one. Otherwise, they're going to be too much depressing. I'm just going to share all of them together in one video. I'm going to share about Nigeria. I'm going to share about Kenya. I'm going to share about Somalia. Uh, the top news in Nigeria right now, it's about several students killed over 100 trapped after a school collapse in northern Nigeria. Several students killed over 100 trapped after a school collapse in Nigeria. And I'm going to read this news a little bit. A school collapse at Science Academy in Nigeria resulted in over 100 individuals being trapped with report of at least 12 students uh, death that dozen of students the national emergency management agents deployed uh, rescue teams to the scene along with health workers and security forces the school collapse occurred during morning classes leading to a frantic search of trapped students and teachers first of all this is very unfortunate uh event um the school collapse and student dying is very unfortunate even especially consider that uh these are 12 young students uh, who they have future perhaps for the continent for their country for their families and i can't imagine what the family are going through you know after losing their beloved children so my condolences goes to all the family that have you know lost their beloved children i'm sorry that you have to go through that uh there's no better way of saying this but it's such a huge tragedy man it's just a huge tragedy and um i don't know what kind of investigation is going to be done but obviously uh this school perhaps it was not built in the um, in the standard that it was supposed to be built um and when you look uh, about africa's uh context you see that in a lot of buildings sometimes collapse because of the uh you know the quality or you know whoever built before and especially government buildings like a lot of people they for instance, if you need to use like 100 tons of cement, you know, and you are taking care of that project, some of the people, they use, you know, 50 ton of cement and keep 50, you know, for themselves and they keep them behind. And I think this is what we don't think about sometimes that when we even 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 in the case of road. Right. Most of road in Africa are really broken because it, it doesn't have excellence. It doesn't have quality. And when you go back, the budget were there, but the money that was spent in that budget is not good enough. And therefore, the roads are not really good. It caused a lot of accidents, a lot of people dying. And this is what I discovered when I lived outside of Africa for a while and coming back. I realized that a lot of death that are happening in the continent is not because God wanted it to happen as most of time would like to say but it's simply because of um you know lack of discipline lack of accountability lack of supervisions and and and, and lack of um pretty much just a good job right you know we have a bunch of selfish people who only cares about their stomach to keep the money in their pockets but when events like this happen you know, and if you are the one that you're in charge of building that school, ask yourself, you know, how are you feeling now? 12 people have died because the school building has collapsed. I don't know what is the cause of the school to collapse, but obviously this building, it was not strong enough. And that is what happened. And um, it's just a sad news to see, man. I would like to hear from my Nigerian friends and everybody, you know, let me guys know 
uh you know let me go let me know you know uh, about the entire situation you know what is your feeling about this thing because these are news these are things that we don't need to hear you don't hear the okay i'm saying this because i'm not exaggerating guys when did you see this kind of news in another country away from africa when but in africa these are normal news you see a lot of time then this is the same thing we talk about leadership that most of them they just care about the time of the regime they don't care about the next generation how this is going to affect them taking loans and money all the time you don't know how this is going to affect the next generation they're going to spend they're going to spend the entire workforce just to pay for those debts you know there's going to increase taxes to pay for that you don't think about that and this is just very sad that we don't we're not really concerned about the next generation and it's really sad. so you guys please let me know about nigeria and this situation man another sad news about somalia as well i will read for you here uh, and then i'm gonna end up with kenya i think this has been very good i mean has been uh you know popular news out there uh it's not a good news but it has been uh circulating all over uh the world right now because there have been um a bomb there have been a uh, eruption of a bomb in the middle of um, mogadishu uh, next to one of the cafe and so uh, multiple people have died actually five people have died uh because of that and 20 people as well have been injured uh because of that even that happened in mogadishu somalia a bombing outside a cave in mogadishu resulted in a death of at least five individuals according to somali police uh, the explosion occurred when a car reached with explosives detonated injured around 20 others as stated by uh, Maj abdifa aden hasa somali police spokesperson a picture shared online displayed fire ignite outside the cafe following the blast um casualty count from the bomb explosion magadishu what a deeper public opinion about somali government's approach to what what is the significance of the recent peaceful period you know to be honest, I'm checking here the news. This not only blast, but also addition harm caused uh, during the chaotic aftermath. You know, let me just say this, man. Um, the news it does it doesn't really specify what is the reason and why you know this bomb actually uh, erupted. But um, I, I guess I just make this about you know these five people who have died. You know, in this huge tragedy. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. We are sending our condolences to the family that has uh, lost. And I think, um, you know, it's um, it, even like this when it happened in the city, it caused panicking, you know, of the people, panicking of the people that, you know, what's really going on, what's really happening. Uh, so I just, you know, um, you know, pray for that peace. And I'm just uh, wishing all the best, man, for these families and my condolences, man. These lives will never come back. And for whatever reason that has happened, um, wish you guys all the best and please guys Somali people let us know as well in the comment section um, you know why this event happened and if you have any extra information please do not hesitate to inform us in the comment section and um, the last sad news is about Kenya uh, this just came out two hours ago that Kenyan police find more female body parts and Nairobi garbage dumped I don't know what's going on in Kenya man Police in Kenya found five bags containing uh, dismembered remains of multiple women at Nairobi garbage dumped on Saturday. Uh, prior to this discovery, six women's uh, co uh, corpses were found in sack, uh, in sacks nearby in Mukuru slum on Friday. Man, six women were fined. Local media reported that protesters threatened to open the bags of remaining, prompting police to deploy water cannons and argue crime uh, uh, come for investigation. Man, uh, Kenya has been going through a lot right now. And I got to say this, man. I'm not happy with what is going on in Kenya, and especially when there's involvement of people dying. Um, I know there's a price for peace, and I think... Uh, the young generation of Kenya seems to be ready to pay for that. Um, but I think it's important for us to also say that um, for, you know, for the government, for the police, of course, excessive use of force is not allowed and even for demonstrators as well so that we can prevent life, you know, because I believe we can get the right that we are asking for, um, you know, um, not violently, 
but really getting our rights uh, by protesting, by speaking up and do everything we can to make change. And I think we've seen that in Kenya uh, because, you know, uh, uh, President William Ruto, you know, has already fired all of his cabinets. That's a good sign, right? So he needs to think about what is the next government is going to actually form to lead the country of Kenya. But this news here, will, uh, I think they're still investigating. So there's not much information details to share about this um but it is um it's inhuman i don't know if you guys you okay i really don't know what to say these are several women bad parts i've been found not not once but this is the second time like they've been killed and put it in the um uh, in the bags and throw them into the water. This is something you see in the movies, guys. This is something you watch when you watch Hollywood, Hollywood movie. You see these events. But now we see it in Africa, in Kenya. What is going on in Kenya? What is going on in Kenya? Why these women have been killed? I guess... Whoever have the answers, please share some light to us. Because you know why I don't do often these videos? Because every time when I go to check up on these news, they're very negative about what is happening in Africa. And most of them is about death. People dying. So it's exhausting. And um, I used to share one news after another, like I'll share all these three, but it's too depressing, man. If you guys, this is the only thing to see. So the best thing I can do is just to compile them together. Apart from this, I did not share about, you know, um, South Africa and the storm, how many people have been killed. More than 4,000, I think 200 people have been displaced and a lot of people have died. These are predictable events. These are things that you know they're coming. Are we taking precaution about it? Government, are we playing our part? Because citizens, to be honest, they don't really pay attention sometimes. But are we, are we playing our part to protect? Because that is the job of the government, right? So if you don't want us to talk about the government, then do the good job to protecting the citizen. Kenya, this is very sad news. And I think uh, once the inv investigation come out, to we'll be able to share more details and tweet. Uh, but at the moment, you know, I know we might have Kenyans following along here. Please let us know what is happening with Kenya, why this is happening, why this has been happening, because it seems like it's been going on. And these are body parts that have been found but perhaps there's a lot of bad parts that they did not even find and it's still there people just disappearing and being killed and being tortured like this murdered like this um yeah man where africa is going uh is a really big question but i will not end in that note um what i want to remind you guys is that there's a hope for africa and uh, when we, youth of Africa, wake up, arising from our sleep, unite, join our hands together to unite and fighting for this continent, things will get better. Things has to get better. Things must get better. Only if we come together as one people and change this continent for a living. This is our home. There's no place. Uh, there's no other place we could go. This is our home. So we need to do everything we can to protect our home. And one step towards protecting this home is by all of us coming together. So the people of Nigeria, the tragedy of people dying, people of Kenya, Somalia, South Africa, you know, Congo, Ethiopia, and different countries in Africa. Uh, it's a time. It is a time. It is a time to come together and um, to say no to this unnecessary death. We don't deserve it and it should not happen. Oh.